Well, hi, howdy, and hello, and welcome to Mission Prep Time. We're getting it all together, getting ready to head on the scooter. Wait, have you subscribed? Have you clicked that subscribe button yet? And the bell notification? Don't you want to know when I make new videos? I do. I wish somebody would tell me. We are getting ready to go out on a garbage picking journey, can't you tell? We need some bags. Uh, in this case, I believe it's five. Count them five. Uh, 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 uh. The number of the day is five. Why do I need so many bags? Because sometimes this gets a little yucky and I'm trying to keep my bucket a little bit clean. Do I pick up dog poop on this trail? Yeah, I do sometimes. Why do people leave giant bags of dog poop on the trail that need picking up? That's coming later in the video, don't you know? Hi, welcome. If we haven't met yet, I'm Joy Joyner. I love being Joy Joyner. And I love sharing the fact that I'm Joy Joyner with you. And I like sharing the things that I do. Sometimes they're crazy things, like go around town and pick up garbage. Why am I doing this? Well, sometimes when you get old and you've been bad, you're trying to earn your way into heaven any little way you can. And this is one of the ways that I'm trying to do so. I like to try to be a good neighbor. I like to try to help out. See, people are thankful. He thanked me for it. It's a good feeling. I got, I don't want to say I got nothing else to do. I got other things to do. But sometimes I have a minute where I'd like to be out in the sunshine and do stuff like this. In this case, right there on the ground, <laughs> is about, I'm bad at guessing, I'm gonna say 10 pound thing of concrete. It's a bottom of a plant, a big tree, and it's got all this grassy stuff. Yeah, it wasn't coming off my grabber. I couldn't pick up the concrete thing. I gave up and moved on. Why am I sharing this video with you today? Number one, I didn't have anything else videoed, so here you go. <gasps> no, not really. Number two, I do this quite often. And I find lots of odd things on the trail, on the street, on the road, on the... I watched the whole video today where the guy called it a, a shroud. What's a shroud? <laughs> but one of the things that really bothers me as we drive around is the amount of garbage just laying everywhere. And when I'm on the trail, certainly a part that's marked that's being taken care of by someone, it gets a little frustrating. So I like going out and picking up a little bit. Makes me feel better. And the things that I find along the way are quite remarkable in my opinion. And I just thought I'd share some of that with you today. So come along with me and let's go garbage picking. I know it doesn't sound like fun, but... Maybe it'll be a little bit interesting to see what people leave, like a full bag of lunch. I get it, somebody just forgot their lunch sitting there. Or, what I've found is more often than not, someone is given a bag of food, um, someone who is housing challenged per se, and they just end up leaving them. And then there's the masks. I know it's just a result of the pandemic, but the amount of masks that I find is incredible. This was also one of those days when I had a bit of an unusual encounter. I'm strolling along the street and I usually cut across to the Child's Park sign that you see here. But on this day, a gentleman was hollering at me and actually he was hollering help. Um, I'm a single lady by myself on a scooter. I don't move too fast, so I try to keep myself out of unsafe situations. My mother would have a whole thing to say on this topic, but that's what I'll say. I try to keep myself safe. So this guy's hollering help. I'm torn. Part of me needs to help and part of me needs to stay safe. So I scoot over to see what's going on. And I find this nice fella, Ken. And Ken is concerned because, as you can see, his mailbox has fallen off. And in his words, the mailman is coming 
and he won't get his mail, so he's concerned. I was happy to help. I needed to get up and stretch for a minute anyway. Yeah, for those of you who are going, damn, your ass is fat, I know that. You don't have to tell me. Wait till I turn sideways. You get a good view of the hernia, too. Yeah, I walk around with a huge hernia, if you didn't already know. I, uh... It's part of why I'm on the scooter. I've only had it fixed about 500 times. That is another video. Um, it's coming. It's in the process. I'm always in the process, don't you know? Yeah, that's one of those bags of poop. Sometimes I'm so sorry I pick them up. There's another one. But oh my god, what did you do? Follow a German Shepherd for two hours picking up crap? That's huge bags of poop. And sometimes <laughs> they smell so bad. So, I move on down to a garbage can and get rid of those as quickly as I can. Again, I do this for my own personal reasons. I wish I didn't have to. I wish there weren't areas like this where there's just piles of garbage. Some people just need to clean up after themselves. But I'll do my part and we'll keep seeing the weird things that are on the trail and maybe that's what this new series will be. Weird things I find on the trail. But I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you come back and visit and to see my numbers go up. This is an old lady trying to grow a YouTube channel all by her little self. Well, no, I'm not all alone. I think that all the time. Every time I go, oh, you're doing this alone. You hear a lot of YouTube creators say, well, my family doesn't want to help me and my friends aren't interested. And No, they're not. Usually, if you get the YouTube bug, you're the only one. It's not contagious and, and gonna go, it's not going through your friends and family until they start seeing you make money, honey. So get up and do it by yourself. And I have to keep reminding me, I'm not alone. I have all of my subscribers with me. When I go on these little rides and pick up garbage, you're right there with me. Smelling the smelly smells. I love that you watch. We're voyeurs together. Keep coming back and see what the crazy lady does next, okay? Thanks for watching. We love you here at the Joiners. Bye now.